Hello everybody. Well today we're going to have this gammon joint and we're having it in the slow cooker. It's another Audi special look. Now these are £3.69. You know, we used to like joints of beef and lamb, but just lately we seem to be eating more gammon and well even chicken's expensive, isn't it? You know what I mean? Oh dear. Uh look, it's got that telltale sign again. It's from Aldi, and they say it's 750 grams there, and it tells you how to cook it, but we're really not interested, are we? Because we're just putting it in the slow cooker. Now, Wendy's been doing this a different way for quite, quite a little time now. I mean, me, I used to put it in Coke. A few years ago, we decided Coca-Cola, and it, it tends to take the salt out of it. You know, we were quite impressed with that. It's all right, but I've got to be honest, the way Wendy does this seems even better. So I'll just show you what we do. I've got to get it out of the packet first. You can tell it's springtime, look. Hey, get some daffodils out. Trouble is, in no time at all, I should be sneezing my head off. Now, we've made this mistake before, so try not to. You take the outer seal off, and there's another one. I've got to be honest, I've left that one before. You know, as you get a little older, you have a bit of trouble with glasses, don't you? Look, actually, it doesn't look a bad bit of meat. It looks a bit wet there, but it, that don't really matter, does it? It's going in the slow cooker. Now, you might wonder what that cup's for. I can't do anything now, look. I'm going to have to wash my hands. Just give me a second. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Dry my hands. Sorry about that little interlude. I'm only I'm a good soldier, you see. I, I do what Boris tells me. Thank God that's all over, mate. We can't cope with that. Although we're still getting it, but never mind all that rubbish. Here's the the magic cup. Look now, we know that small mug is about a cup measure. We know that. Now we've been rooting around. In the, in the uh, cupboard, me and Wendy, for some brown sugar, look. So we've got that brown sugar there. That's dark brown sugar. And she says to me, I've got loads in the cupboard. There's at least three bags. Well, I couldn't find it, but Wendy managed to find it. And I said to her, come on, me dog. You need your glasses as much as I need mine. I'm sure that said brown rice on there. I'm sure it does. I, we're not, I don't think we'll be using that one. I tell you what, it's so easy, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, everything seems so hard. So what we'll do, yeah, we're gonna use brown sugar. I don't know how many people do this, whether this is something everybody knows and it's just me who didn't, I don't know. But we've, we've not been doing it an awful long time, but we have had quite a few joints like this. Come on, Graham, there's a lot. The only thing that bothers me is how much sugar there is. Now, I know that's not quite to the top. Come on, let's get it full. We've got another bag there. I know it's different sugar, but I don't think it'll matter, actually. Right, that, that'll do me. So we tip that into the slow cooker. I think we're going to have a mixture here. I'll just get rid of that bag. So how easy it is to get it wrong. You know, Wendy knew we'd got three bags in the cupboard, but it's easy to mistake. Get it wrong. Oh, this is, looks a bit different, but I'm sure it won't matter. I mean, it's the first time I've put this brown sugar. Well, what am I doing, actually? Only one to half a cup. 
Well, that's, oh, I've only had a little tiny bit out of there, and that is half a cup. So that'll do fine. Right. Move that out of the way. Careful we don't get it mixed up with the... Uh, mixed up with the brown rice. Right, in we go. Just try and do it with one hand, so I've got one clean hand. Oh, come on. Get that plastic off. Right, we'll stick that in there. And with the other hand, get that on top. Well, I'm afraid, mate, that's about all there is to it. And what we'll do then, we'll just switch that on low. It's a bit rocky on here. Uh, you know, don't worry about this because when we finish filming, I will move this somewhere else out of the way. But just so you can see, but as if you really need to see. We know what it's going to look like, but as you can see, we've got a full cup underneath and half a cup on top. I mean, this seemed a bit... I was a little bit worried when Wendy did this because I said to her, we've had this slow cooker so long now, you know, you don't want to... We've got a break in it. We've had it... Oh, God, how many years have we had this? I don't think I can count that far. I think I run out of fingers and toes before I get to the end. So, you know, we've had it a long time. Now, why has that not come on? That's a bit naughty. Ah, it helps if you switch the electric on. Right, now, that is it. There's nothing else to tell you. Except, we'll let that run now. We give that about... I've got to wash my hands again, sorry. Happy birthday. I ain't doing that again. It's embarrassing, Graham. You'll have to warn. <laughs> Never mind, come on, get on with it. Right, so there's not really much else I can say about that other than we let that run now. We try and give it a good eight hours. So I'll try and remember to film it when it's finished because you'll want to see what it looks like. So what I'll do my best. Okay, that's all for now. Oh, good morning everyone um i put this joint in saturday evening for sunday uh it's now ooh, half, half past six sunday morning well if, if ever there was silly o'clock this is silly o'clock anyway what i wanted to show you we got a phone call late last night when we're out today so we won't be having this till sort of tea time tomorrow depending when we get home because we're out with family, but um, I thought I just want to show you how it's how it's cooking so far. I mean, it's not actually on at the moment. Look, it's it's just in its own juices. But you see, the way that sugar's gone, because I was always concerned. I thought this is going to ruin the cooker. Just put in sugar in there, but it, obviously it melts. I suppose if you think enough, it's obvious. It just seemed a little alien to me. Anyway. To be honest, I only got up for a cup of tea, mate, but thought we'll put this on and show you how it's going. I mean, I think I'll try and put this video on now, just so you can see it today, really. I mean, is it Sunday's joint day, isn't it? Well, it is for us. So we'll we'll see how this goes. I'll try and make a video of this, and hopefully, I'll try and remember. We'll carve it later on, and you'll see how good it is. But I just wanted to share that with you. Bye. Just a little something extra that Wendy thought of, and she said I should mention this. Years ago, we were camping, and it was really cold. Wendy said, my fresh jammers are all damp and cold. I want, you know, it was it was horrible. So to try and be nice to it, make it a bit easier, I put a pyjamas in the slow cooker. Now, I didn't put the pot in. I just put them straight in. And I thought, I can smell something. I got up. Oh, we were doing something. I got up and... Oh, my God, it had burnt a great big hole in the back of her pyjamas. Might have been quite funny, really, because all of a sudden there were no bum in the pyjamas. Oh, dear. I just thought I'd share that with you. I don't know what you'll make of that.